Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge. And I'm just wondering, how many of you out there have been to the gun store lately? How many of you have analyzed it and thought to yourself, boy, this is a bad version of the view with misplaced masculinity and inflated waistlines. Yeah, that's about right. And you get all these guys in, in the gun store and they'll talk about how many guns each one of them has and how they should get the le next latest and greatest thing and you know how their reload shoot in each you know, particular gun and everything like that. But you know what you won't hear them talking about? How much training they've had. They won't talk about that because they don't have any. And here's an important question. Have you spent more on guns or on training? And that's an important question because people want to buy firearms and that's fine. I'm all about the Second Amendment. I'm all about arming the populace. I'm all about having a free society based on private firearms ownership. That's what this country is all about. But what people also don't want to talk about is with that firearm, your responsibility for it is to get good with it. Not simply have it and shoot, you know, three or four little lines of bullets out of the box that you bought with it and then put it away in the shelf. I read somewhere uh, the average round count through a, a handgun in this country is less than two dozen in its lifetime. And I want you to think about that. These people are buying these guns that are five, six, seven, twelve hundred dollars or even more and only shooting them sparingly. Usually when I ask people, have you spent more on guns or on training, it's like, it's a personal accusation, and it's not. I'm, I'm posing a question. Where are the priorities here? Are the priorities to buy stuff, or are the priorities to get better? Because if you have a firearm, and you only shoot it every now and then, or even if you don't know how to go to the range and practice with it, that's a serious problem. There are people that come here all the time. We, we teach classes all the time, and teach people how to use their firearm constantly whether it's a pistol or a rifle, because we do both. And a lot of people have tons of guns. I knew a guy that told me he had 30 guns. And I'm not saying there should be a limit on how many guns you're owning, but think about what the cost of 30 guns, even if they're the cheapest, crappiest guns you can imagine, that's still a lot of money. That's still well over $10,000 of firearms without a single class to take it. Now some of you are like, well, I've been to the concealed carry class. That's not training. That's, that's a mandated class by whatever state that you live in that you have to go shoot your 30 to 40 rounds at uh, seven yards into a target that's much larger than that size over there. That's not training. We've got to ask, what are the priorities? Where do you want to be? What do you want to do with it? Because if you're one of these people that just buys a gun, sporadically straps it on when you go out and live your daily life and expect to survive a gunfight, you're sorely, sorely mistaken. You've got to be prepared mentally, you've got to be prepared physically, and you've got to be prepared in your heart to fight and possibly die for other people. And this is one of those aspects that people don't know or comprehend or even understand because they haven't had to contemplate it because they're told, oh, just buy this gun. So I ask this question, have you spent more on guns or on training? There's an easy way to do things and a hard way to do things. The hard way to do things is to waste money buying 1911 after 1911 after 1911, you know, and SIGs and Glocks and H&Ks and Smith and Wessons and buy them all. And so now you got people that have spent 10, 15, 20 grand on guns and don't know how to use them. And I know some people out there right now are saying, but I go to the range and I hit my target. Yeah, how long does it take you to do that? Five seconds? Six? Ten? And how far away? These are all questions that you've got to ask yourself, folks. Where are your priorities? And how good do you want to be with a firearm? A lot of people are afraid to come train because they don't want to fail. They don't want to look bad in front of other people. In other words, the ego gets in the way. Um, in other words, oh, I don't want to look bad in front of other people. Or th the worst case scenario is the guy who says, oh, I've got enough training. I've got enough training. And, and that's, the other, that's, the, that's still the ego. That's just too much of it, is all that is. So you gotta be courageous. You gotta be brave enough to actually get out there, expose yourself to different ideas. You gotta be bold enough to go out there and expose yourself to failure so that you know where your weak points are, so that you know what to fix, so that you know what to address. Let me give you an example. People come to class, and we put the gun in their support hand. All right, let's shoot. The support hand groups, not the best, because people don't ever do that. They don't ever go out and practice support hand. Oh, I don't want to do that. But you've got to. Whatever your deficiency is, you've got to go out and correct that. The only way you find out your, your deficiencies is under the watchful, competent eye of an instructor that does this stuff for a living. That's the bottom line, folks. You can't fix yourself unless you know what's broken. 
So let me encourage you all to buck the trend over buying stuff versus actually getting out there and getting proficiency. Because it's a proficiency, not a gun purchase, that's going to save the day for you and your family when the darkest day comes. If you found the information in the video helpful, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook, that link is down below. And if you want to get some training on that firearm, come on out to Valor Ridge and we'll help you do just that. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.